I can't think of a better way to spend a perfect day at Coco Cay. Welcome to the Coco Beach Club. So today's stop at uh, Perfect Day at Coco Cay is uh, exciting for me. Uh, I've been here several times since they revamped the island a couple of years ago, but this is the first chance I'm going to get to actually go to the Coco Beach Club. It is a bit of a walk uh, from the main pier to the Coco Beach Club, so if you don't feel like doing that, they have free trams available. They run pretty frequently, uh, so you can just get one right off the uh, ship and head there, or they have a stop coming up here. Uh, near the Thrill Water Park as well. We are going to board the tram to Cocoa Beach Club. And if you have any questions, please... So we're picking up this tram to the Cocoa Beach Club right outside the Thrill Water Park. Uh, but as I said earlier, you can get these right at the ship if you uh, need to. Here we go. We have one of the towers for the zip line. And uh, zip line and the Thrill Water Park um, are just two of the extras that you pay for. Uh, they're considered excursions. Here's the back side of the Thrill Water Park. And that's the up, up, and away uh, helium balloon. Again, it's uh, an additional cost for that, but it takes you 450 feet up a maximum, depending on weather conditions. So we just arrived to the entrance of the Coco Beach Club, and uh, nice, nice entrance. It really gives you that sense that it's separate from the rest of the uh, exciting activities to do here on uh, Coco Cay. I'm not even really in yet, and it already feels like a resort. And here's the uh, checkpoint where they're going to check your card. Make sure you have a reservation for a, a day pass here, or uh, if you've rented one of the incredible over-the-water bungalows, and we'll try to show you those as well. So when we first came in, uh, we met Thalia, and she uh, helped us with our lunch reservation. Uh, so that's something you want to think about when you get here is make sure you have a time spot uh, spot booked for your lunch. So I'm here by the resort pool and it's very nice. We're infinity edge overlooking the water here in the ocean. And uh, depending on what time you get here, there are these really nice uh, two person, possibly even three person beds that do have umbrellas. These are not an extra upcharge, they're actually included. So uh, yeah, definitely try to get here early in the morning and uh, snag one of these if you can. Now, if you're so excited to come here and you rush off the ship first thing in the morning, um, you'll be happy to know that you can grab a coffee and some pastries over here. Just to the side of the entrance, they have this coffee and uh, pastry station. So, nice little uh, touch when you're on the go early in the morning to get here to the Cocoa Beach Club. And in addition to this sort of uh, deck area here, you've got these beautiful sandy beaches, tons of beach chairs with umbrellas, and these are all included in the uh, standard day pass, which is what I have here today. Here's the bar here at the Cocoa Beach Club, poolside, ready to give you refreshments. There's a nice, uh, nice beach shelf here that has these in-water loungers. There's plenty of them, at least at this early time in the day. As I said before, this is an infinity edge pool. You can see here how it slopes off right towards the beach area. Just 
take you down to the water now. It's very nice colors, different shades of blues and greens, as you would expect in the Bahamas. Royal Caribbean uh, spent a lot of time and I'm sure a lot of expense uh, to have this place look as nice as it is. And uh, I know every day they are continually grooming it to make it ready for uh, new arrivals. And uh, water's just beautiful, crystal clear. Uh, you might catch a glimpse of a lemon shark. They've got lemon sharks here. They've got rays, uh, needlefish. Uh, so. If, you're into that sort of thing, it's just actually a pretty good place to do some snorkeling. And there's no shortage of beach chairs and umbrellas, and these are all inclusive uh, with your day here. There's really nothing extra unless you want one of the beach or the over-the-water cabanas, but everything else, uh, including a fantastic lunch, uh, which is upscale from what you'd find at the buffet uh, here on the island or one of the snack shacks. Um, so it's definitely a, a great, day experience and I highly recommend it. So that's my spot for today and it's really going to be a perfect day at Coco Cay for me and for all these other people that are here to enjoy a little time away. So it's time for lunch here at the Coco Beach Club and we're going to check in and uh, I'm sure have a great meal. Once again, the street family, please meet at the Chill Island Medical. Thank Very you. Very nice and cool in here. So this is the menu at the Cocoa Beach Club, and this is an included dining with your um, day pass or with one of the over-the-water bungalows or uh, beach bungalows. So you've got some nice starters there, entrees, and uh, yes, there is uh, Bahamian lobster on there. And then, of course, some desserts. Uh, that banana, Bahamian rum cake sounds pretty nice, actually. How is that for a spread? And that's just the starters. So basically, I got everything on the starter menu uh, from the shrimp and the fresh ceviche. And then over here, the Mediterranean mezes with uh, baba hanoush and tahini and uh, hummus and uh, tzatziki and some pita and some vegetables for dipping. This is a very good start to this meal. Um, I knew this was going to be good and so far it is. So I ordered uh, the Bahamian lobster sandwich as my main and um, it looks very crispy. It's been battered and uh, deep fried. Nothing wrong with that. And it's served with some uh, french fries which look nice and crispy. And uh, this looks like some sort of a slaw over here. So going to take a bite into this. Uh, this has just been a wonderful meal so far. How's that for a surf and turf? Just steps away from the surf. Uh, got a nice Caribbean lobster here and a filet. So really it doesn't get much better than this here at Cocoa Beach Club. Well, here's the time for dessert. What a better way to end a fantastic meal here at the Cocoa Beach Club restaurant. This is the Bahamian rum soaked cake. Uh, looks great can't wait to eat it um, but uh, I really hope that you have a chance to come to the Cocoa Beach Club and explore this for yourself um, the meal was wonderful the service has been super attentive and uh, it really gives the whole vibe of a resort away from all the thrills and spills that they have at this place which are great too but uh, sometimes you're looking for something different and if you're just looking to just relax and chill then the Cocoa Beach Club is I think the place that you should be and it really is the place to uh, take your perfect day to another level. All the pathways here throughout the Cocoa Beach Club are just so beautifully manicured. Uh, you can see they take a lot of time. In fact, uh, on the way here on the tram, I did notice they even have a nursery uh, to help grow uh, new plantings. So they really uh, try to make this as perfect as possible. And these are the beach cabanas here uh, that are available for rent as well. Uh, it looks like most of them, if not all of them, are fully booked today. And uh, just to give you an idea of cost, everything ranges. There's, there's uh, definitely a, an ebb and a flow to pricing with anything on the cruise planner at Royal Caribbean's website. But uh, the beach cabanas can run upwards of, I've seen them, $1,400 uh, for the day. 
The over the water cabanas can be over $2,000 for the day, but you might be lucky and get a reduced price once in a while. Uh, but as I've said before, you just really need to keep checking uh, because the, rate, the rates might change from day to day or there might be a sale. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind. So when it comes to private cabanas here at the Cocoa Beach Club, you do have a couple of options. This is a uh, shoreside uh, beach cabana. And uh, as you can see, it is definitely right on the beach. Beautiful few steps and you're into the water. And uh, as you can see, it's a very substantial structure. I believe these are good for up to eight people. You do have four loungers and uh, you'll, you'll arrive with the towels already laid out for you. Um, you do have a fridge here that is fully stocked. Now this is not complimentary. Uh, this is a uh, you know, purchasable uh, items in here and you sort of see the pricing there, but uh, definitely all about convenience. If you want to pump your own tunes, it has a Bluetooth enabled system where you can plug in and uh, listen to the tunes that you want. And uh, this little sofa set here, and there's even a lockable storage in here. So you're all set to go if you want to leave a couple of your valuables when you go wandering around or into the water. So uh, these are, I believe there's 10 or 12 of these, and uh, you want to definitely book these early. They do go very quickly on the cruise planner. Here you also have a pop-up cooler, which can also be used as a table. Uh, so definitely check out these beach cabanas here at the Cocoa Beach Club. I don't think you'll be disappointed, especially if you want the close access to the beach and you're not getting any closer than that. Now, if you want to make your day even more perfect here at the Cocoa Beach Club, they do have these over the water cabanas. Uh, they are the ultimate in a chilling out time here on uh, Cocoa Cay. I mean, you have your own little uh, cabana, not so little, uh, umbrellas, chairs. How about a water slide or a slide into the ocean? That's pretty incredible. And uh, of course, amazing attentive service for drinks, food, whatever you need here at the Cocoa Beach Club. So to get to the overwater cabanas, um, you do have this uh, bridge sort of boardwalk here. And as you can see, it splinters off into all these different individual over the water cabanas. So you really have that sense that you're away from everything because you pretty much are here. And that's wonderful. Okay, so we have arrived here to what is probably the ultimate spot for you to hang out at the Cocoa Beach Club or on a perfect day at Coca Cay altogether. This is an over the water cabana. And let me just say, wow. I mean, you have the, you have the shade cover for certain, but it's really all about this, this dock area here at the back where if you wanna just jump right off into the water, you can do that. You want to hang out over here on this uh, mesh screen part over here? You've got that too. But what really interests me, and I know it would definitely interest my kids, is this cool slide right here that's going to take you from the back of your cabana all the way down, sliding right into that beautiful clear water below. That's just fantastic and just nice Nice weather today. It's windy, but beautiful, beautiful skies. Uh, so here they have a very nice sitting area. And I love the fact that there's like no walls. I mean, the wall is the ocean right here. This is what's behind you. It's completely open, but you still get the shade from the structure itself. But there's really no walls uh, to uh, sort of get in the way. You also have some floats uh, provided for you. There is the fridge, but the items again are at the charge. Uh, there is a sink here, I don't know, in case you want to wash up before you eat because there is a dining table here and another perk of being in one of these over the water cabanas is that they will actually bring you food. So you can get all the food that I just enjoyed at the Cocoa Beach Club restaurant and you can actually have it right out here on the back of your over the water cabana. Just to give you a sense of how awesome this space is, I mean it's just incredible to be out here. You can feel the waves floating underneath and it's just a nice sensation. I really don't even know that I'm still here at Coco Cay. It feels like I'm somewhere else.